the USC Aviation Safety and Security Program was started in 1952, only 15 years after Amelia Earhart was lost. The uh, folks at the uh, Waite Foundation in La Jolla, uh, led by Ted Waite, um, contacted USC for some assistance in their initiative to conduct a search for the Amelia Earhart's plane. Anyone who's studied aircraft accidents knows that it's never a single cause. It's always several things coming together. When they find the wreckage, if they find the wreckage, they'll look at the same things as we look at here in our accident investigation class. Uh, they map the entire bottom of the ocean west of Howlin Island. And as all of those mapping uh, data files uh, were made available to the scientific community by the Waite Foundation. So that was a big contribution because that's never been done before. The reason we look and investigate an aircraft accident is to basically prevent it from prevent a similar accident from happening in the future. And in fact, as we get better at this science, we investigate accidents less and investigate incidents more. And an incident is something with less grievous consequences. Uh, one has to ask after arrival at Howland Island with uh, approximately two hours of fuel or perhaps three. And one has to wonder why the radio transmission stopped so abruptly and only after one hour. In the, the, the days when, when Amelia was learning to fly and throughout her whole career, it was not unusual for a mechanical failure to occur. Those kind of things are much rarer now. But what hasn't changed is the person behind the, the aircraft, the person flying the aircraft. You cannot engineer out human factors. The human factors of fear, of, of fatigue, of losing night vision after hours of, of, of wakefulness. And so that's where we're striving to make our our, uh, our advances now is to take the interaction between individuals and to, and to systematize these and to improve interaction in the problem-solving abilities between people.